she had like a, didn't you have like a monitor? Shit, this is good. Shift it in gear. I'm here with, with the 790. <laughs> so agile like you're almost leaning over the front tire jay's been riding behind me while i've been leaving him in the dust how does the exhaust sound from far away it sounds like it's purring you know it's like there's a a, a beast inside it it's just where do i put my stuff <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna find out i've not checked does this have luggage space uh, no up. it doesn't have luggage <laughs> space you got enough to put this in that here. is a big battery though. look it just slots in like that Waterproof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, the seat height is 825, mm -hmm. and then you've got you can actually take it down to 805 for the lower option, and then you can buy a chassis chassis lowering kit, kit <laughs> which is 785 millimeters, 105 horsepower. Mm. Um, feels like it's got 150, which is probably not visible. It oh wow, it is. My goodness, it is. And the fact that you can see it on a really bright day like now. Yeah. The exhaust, is it still hot? Uh, Possibly. Yeah, it's hot, but I'm not sure if that's because of the sun. But this is the first parallel twin bike that KTM have made. We shall hear. It's like, you know, it's a bit like the 390 before, but it has that purr of something that's definitely pretty powerful at the, at the back of it yeah by the way as well it comes with a steering dampener standard <laughs> show you and have a look man yeah i can see yeah that's got one setting it's not adjustable pretty much throw its feet on the ground that's right. actually adjustable even at that point yeah you can take it down what another two centimeters so <laughs> and then if you had the chassis lowering kit that'd be even crazier now the actual controls as well if you want to come around here they are backlit at night so you got the full screen you got this the indicators uh, ride by wire i will put i'll do a little narration with some nice drone shots just so it seems a bit more epic not that this bike <laughs> needs any more epicness added to it but here it comes love how it says ready to race you change down a gear it just explodes you know on any other bike that's 800 cc you know you'd have to filter really slowly through this traffic but with this bike you know i feel like you can just squeeze through pretty much any space that the duke 200 could but except you've just got this this huge force behind you and you literally feel like you're jediing through this traffic If you think about how it feels like to ride, it's like the 390 and the 1290 had a baby and then sent that baby on a self-awareness course. The reason why I say self-awareness course is that it comes with track mode. Uh, you usually have to pay for it when you buy the Super Duke 1290. You can adjust the throttle response, anti-wheelie, launch control, all of those things you can adjust independently of each other. Be confident and be happy about how you're getting through traffic and be happy about you know, the comfort of the bike and know that you've got all these safety systems behind you you just wouldn't have on most other bikes. Not every bike needs to be a track bike. Not every bike needs to be huge you know, to have power. Usually with a bike of this CC, there comes a price. You might have the power, but you're too big to squeeze through any of these gaps. And yeah, you know, the 790 is like the perfect marriage of all 
all of that. Saving time, saving money. I mean, I was on the road with all these scooters. There was nowhere that they could go that I couldn't go. You're not really gonna have to spend anything on this bike after you've bought it. All the aftermarket stuff has been taken care of for you. The reason why I think it's called the scalpel is because you can just perform surgery through traffic. So, just another example of what the bike does for you behind the scenes without you having to think about it. For this display, nice and white, you know, and all these dials as well. Instantly go into night mode. These are lit up when you go riding at night. Oh, no exit. Never mind. Benefits of being on a bike. And then it goes back into day mode. Just like that. Shell V Power Racing. Ah, oh, it's so easy to move this thing. I gotta wash this thing though. <laughs> That guy just served that one first, but whatever. Uh, here in the Philippines, there's a benefit to having full service gasoline uh, stations, but. Hi, Kuya. Um, could you make it 200 racing? People just have lunch here at a petrol station. I mean, anywhere where there's air conditioning, I suppose. Totally get that. There's people that drink beer at a gasoline station in Alabang because it's cheap. It's like 7 Eleven, just like convenience store prices you know free internet wow we're getting their cars done <sighs> okay just got to make sure when you get on this bike you're not too forward it's easy to sit too far forward if you're like your gentleman jewels make sure you leave a bit of gap because this is a wild horse that's going to require you to have a, a cop one of those protection cops it takes a while for the uh, fuel tank to adjust to the fuel that you put in. Look at this. I mean, you can just cut through whatever. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. The quick shifter does really, really help out because you can downshift, make your maneuver, just keep going from there. Downshift in a heartbeat. You know, I like to stay around first gear at these speeds. I mean, it's a joy to go through traffic. Go through whatever. Now the only downside is there is a bit of heat that's just coming off. I smell the jet fuel from the airport. Let's see if I can get through this bit. Can't get through that bit. The engine just sounds so refined. It sounds a lot like any other Duke out there. The way it's tuned, I guess. But as a result of it being a parallel twin, the exhaust just has this amazing feedback. Go through spots like that. <laughs> okay. Look at this ridiculousness. Is that where we go? I think that's where I'm supposed to go. But I'll just do a U turn. Go under the bridge, I think. Oh, it smells around here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go 
that way. Oh, just skipping all of this just feels so, so good. You can, you can just tuck yourself in, you know? Boop. Right here, lots of space. With cornering ABS, this bike can tell what angle you're leaning at and how to react if you ever do need to stop in an emergency. Doesn't mean that you can go and push it and be reckless, but you know, this bike can stop in less than half the distance of a bike that is cornering without cornering ABS if it had to stop. You know, these little scooters, you can go wherever they can go. You know, you are not hindered at all. So, I mean, you know, I think this meets a nice little, you know, middle ground uh, without compromise to power. It's highway legal. It's more than capable. It's super safe. Look at this, traffic, gravel, gravel, gravel. You know, you're gonna need to go through stuff like this. Oh my goodness. Because there's times when you just need to get past people. Look at all of that! Such a benefit being on a bike! My goodness! Whoa. What are you trying to do, car? Stay in your lane! Sometimes I wonder what goes through people's minds when they, you know, buy a car. Are they, like, foreseeing what they're about to get into? I mean, if more of us rode bikes, there'd be less traffic. But I guess not everyone can do what they need to do on a bike. Look how insane that is. Red mode, let's put it on sport. That makes it a lot more agitated. Bike just takes on a whole ugh, different personality. It's just absolutely so much power at the high end. Well, yeah, mid end and high end. Look at that. Woohoo! Oh. That is such a cool marketing strategy. Pure gold on the side of Air Asia. Pure gold is a super marché, by the way. Why are you stopping in front of me? 